All right, welcome to a, a very quick video. Just saw this power data posted by Anamit Van Vluten. She keeps her power data very secret. Most women's world tour riders do. I've yet to see really any data that they've been posted. But anyway, today I finally saw this and I was like, oh, 196 weight average power. I clicked on her teammates and just saw one thing that lit my eyes up, testing. Because this, I mean, you never know if someone's going full gas, but I'm pretty sure that these efforts are full gas. Or if they're not, they're definitely taking some sort of blood lactate level. So what they basically did was a 30 second sprint, more or less, two minutes full gas, and then 10 minutes full gas, maybe. So it's, it's hard to tell. So Anami Van Vluten was the first one who I looked at because she's, she's a big hitter of the world. Her heart rate's not massive, so it's hard to tell if it's max effort, but I think it probably is. Her heart rate, again, is not huge, but then her heart rate is Jessica Allen. So... I'm not 100% sure if this, these are all full gas efforts, but it's, it's interesting to compare uh, and see what power they did. So we'll go through Anamit Van Vluten's first. So this is the 35 second sprint I was talking about, 572 watts. We'll go to the watts per kilo in a bit. Uh, about five minute, 25 rest, then two minutes at 400 watts. Um, so her heart rate's like only 159. So I'm like, is she going full gas? It might just be to take a blood lactate level and then 10 minutes at 305 watts. So we look at the old watts per kilo, um, which is pretty interesting. So you can see 582 watts here, it's 10.2 watts per kilo, which is pretty solid. We'll get the old watts per kilo chart up here, just so we can roughly see what, what that would be. Um, obviously, they do 1510, uh, 1520, sorry, um, well, FTP, I guess. But anyway, so for this effort, I mean, for a woman, sorry, I mean, a one minute would be like 9.3. So she's she's at like obviously 30 seconds, but that's still still solid effort. Then for two minutes, seven watts per kilo for two minutes. Again, solid. I think she could probably go harder than that to us. I'm not sure that's 100% full gas. And then for 10 minutes, it's about 5.35 watts per kilo, which again, mm, that doesn't sound like full gas to her to me because I, I think she's good done 5.6 for long for like 20 minutes or something before I seem to have heard. But anyway, it's interesting to see what, what's going on. So then you can see Gracie Elwin is a lot more punchy rider. 662 watts for that 33-second effort, around 30 seconds. Obviously, when you're sprinting, it's hard to do it perfectly. Uh, but anyway, that's solid. Uh, then you have 420 watts for two minutes. So you can see Gracie Elwin is a lot more punchy. She slightly fucked up the pacing on this because she did 600 watts for the first bit and then sort of died down to 350. And I don't think Van Vluten did the same thing because um, sometimes in these tests, it will be hard to tell. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, not really. No. Okay. So I think that was her just probably getting a bit too confident at the beginning. And then again, for her 10-minute power, she did 308. I believe Gracie Elvin is slightly heavier, but don't quote me on that. We will see in a bit. 700. So for her 30-second effort, she did 683, which is 10.5 watts per kilo. Again, similar watts per kilo to uh, Van Vluten. Uh, we'll just leave it on the watts per kilo page so you can, so you can compare. Similar watts per kilo, but obviously just... 50 watts less in terms of overall power. Then for two minute effort, 6.45 watts per kilo, which is 420 watts. Uh, and Anamit Van Vluten was 405, which is 7.1 watts per kilo. So you can see she's the heavier rider, but got just got more, more pure watts. But then it's when it gets down to her 10 minute power, she's actually seems to be worse than Anamit Van Vluten, uh, even though she weighs more, um, which obviously means she's a punchy rider, so it's a sprinter type of rider. So it's, it's interesting to see all this. Uh, then we have Jessica Allen, again, 520 watts, not not incredible, really. Two minutes, 338. I don't believe she weighs very much, though. Uh, I think Jessica Allen is more of a climber, but we'll find out. I'm just guessing by her numbers. Again, around 10 watts per kilo, but obviously she's a lot lighter. Two minutes at 338, 6.15 watts per kilo. Again, it's not great, really. Uh, I'm pretty sure these girls can definitely go harder than that, because if you look at the five-minute power... 6.6 .6 watts per kilo is like world class. So you'd expect for like two minutes then we be able to do like closer to seven and a half or eight uh, really for that sort of short duration. And then for 10 minutes, we have 306 watts. Oh no, sorry, I was the wrong person. And then for 10 minutes, we only had 260 here, uh, which was 4.7 watts per kilo. So uh, it's hard to really get much from this data. I mean, it's just interesting. You, I mean, there's some stuff you can obviously tell like, Van Vluten's the better climber. Uh, then you can tell that Gracie Elwin's a punchier rider, and then you can just tell Jessica Allen is, isn't as strong as the other people, and she's also a lot lighter than everyone else. Um, the house, it's, I mean, it's good to see the power data. I'm quite enjoying, enjoying. You can see here that was definitely a hard effort. Actually, she she definitely did get up there. Um, 
it's just interesting to see the heart rate when she falls down. Yeah, it takes a decent time to fall down, so that probably was a good effort. Like, I just think Annemiek van Vluten potentially wasn't. Um, yeah, she got up to like 194 heart rate. Ah, oh, the heart rate might be fucked up then. Yeah, that probably was full gas then. If you're going up to like 207 heart rate, then that's uh, probably doesn't mean you're going pretty hard. And then Van Vluten as well, she got up to like 177. So yeah, maybe Van Vluten's heart rate just isn't as high. Uh, I guess also this they might be fatigued. I'm not really 100% sure. But anyway, interesting numbers nonetheless. Good to see that the women are posting their numbers because I mean, if you're aspiring, if you want to be a, like a female pro rider, it's pretty hard to tell the watts per kilo. Uh, that you really need. I mean, you can use this chart, but the men's is a bit more obvious because just more of them post, and I guess they're just more pro riders. Uh, but if you want me to do more analysis about uh, women's pro riders or like any of their races, just let me know. Uh, I'm more than happy to do that. I don't really, I find all power data is pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.